This is Jeremy from Giant Toy Guns, and you're listening to the Raider 88.1. Good morning, Texas Tech. You're tuned into the Raider 88.1. You're listening to the fight song. I thought it was going to be the presidential song it based does kind of sound like it, it does yeah it does. every time it starts i'm like oh america but then it's not oh, JK, he's it's not the president Texas yet Tech. he's the president elect yes well either way i thought you would play the music for to support the president elect whoever they may have been um but we'll get into that pretty soon you're tuned in to woman crush wednesday here on ktxt i'm Haley. i'll be your host for the next hour i'm in the studio with my lovely co-workers slash uh, co-talkers. What's that word? Co-hosts. Co-hosts. <laughs> I <believe it's> the <laughs> Why don't y'all introduce yourself? Term. My, co -ta my co-talkers. <laughs> Amy. Oh, I'm Amy. <laughs> I'm Elena. And we have Daphne running the board for us. Good morning. Good morning. It's going to be a nice show today. We've got some nice election discussions for y'all. We've got some sports. We've got a couple guests coming into the studio to talk later in the hour, and then we'll finish it off with what grinds my gears. So y'all be thinking if you're listening, especially on Facebook, about what grinds your gears, and you can share that with us because we'll talk about it because it probably grinds ours too. But without further ado, as the song is wrapping up, we will go ahead and get into your KTXT news update. Texas is not turning purple after all. Republicans scored big in the Lone Star State on Election Day, led by President-elect Donald Trump's victory over Hillary Clinton. Trump carried Texas with the help of older white voters. Major metro areas like Dallas, Houston, Austin, El Paso, and San Antonio all went for Hillary Clinton. Democrats also managed to pick up four seats in the Texas House. Former President George W. Bush and former First Lady Laura Bush are most definitely not Trump supporters. A spokesman for the former president tells the Texas Tribune that the Bushes did not vote for Trump or Hillary Clinton. According to the spokesman, the Bushes made no selection at the top of the ticket and voted down ballot for Texas Republicans. Republican Congressman Will Hurd is claiming victory over Democratic challenger Pete Gallego in the state's only competitive race for the U.S. House of Representatives. With most precincts pr reporting, Hurd had nearly 49 percent of the vote compared to Gallego's 47 percent. The 23rd Congressional District stretches acro across 29 Texas counties and includes portions of the San Antonio area. If Hurd is declared the winner, he becomes the first incumbent to hold onto the district in eight years. And finally, Republicans are in firm control of state government, winning all major statewide races yesterday. The GOP's Wayne Christian sailed to victory in the race for Texas Railroad Commissioner. The Texas Senate will likely have virtually the same GOP advantage. Republicans also swept the major, ju major judicial races, taking the three Supreme Court positions and three Court of Criminal Appeals judgeships. That does it for your KTXT News Update. I'll have more news for you at the half hour. Here is DG with your weather. Thanks, Haley. The National Weather Service forecast for Lubbock and vicinity, partly sunny today with highs in the mid-50s. Northeasterly winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. Mostly cloudy tonight. Lows in the low 40s. Southeasterly winds around 5 miles per hour. Expected to shift to the southwest later after midnight. And more the same tomorrow. Mostly cloudy again Thursday. Highs around 60 expected. Looks like uh, highs in the 60s, lows in the 40s seems to be the pattern for the week. And it looks like a chance of showers on Saturday. Currently in Lubbock, overcast skies, 45 degrees. Wind is from the north at 9 miles per hour, creating a wind chill of 40 degrees. Now back to the women of Women's Crush Wednesday on Good Morning Texas Tech here on the Raider 88.1. <laughs> Thanks, DG, for that wonderful weather update. And thank you, Facebook listeners, for looking at a beautiful picture of the outside mm -hmm. world right now. It's really pretty out there. It's in blue. fall. It's fall. It is finally oh, fall. It's very nice. It it's is. about time. We got sweaters on. We got boots mm -hmm. on. I've got my scarf on. Amy's earlier. got a scarf. It's it, lovely. It is fall weather. It's finally comfortable for some of us. I know. It's just to getting to November to get any type of cold weather, but at least it's here now. Mm -hmm. So I'm thankful. I'm curious if it's gonna like get like crazy cold soon, or if it's yeah. gonna stay like this. I don't yeah. know. I like we're just gonna skip fall to that point, or are we gonna have like a long fall, like we had a long summer? I don't know. We'll see. I think we might just have a nice couple days of fall, and then but I hope I hope we're out of the 80s for the most yeah. part. 
that at we're least not getting I'll be back happy to about. that. So that'll be great. I really like this. This is perfect for me. Mm-hmm. Like sixties, fifties. I can stay here. We and could chill. stay. Yeah, I bought. I stole my roommate's sweater from last year, so I'm good to go. <laughs> is she watching? And is she okay with this? She's probably not awake at this moment. Well, <laughs> Haley's old roommate. Feel free to comment on Facebook about <laughs> how you feel about her stealing. Give me my sweater. Back. sweater. I steal so many of their clothes. Not <laughs> steal. Eventually, they get them back. But and they're washed and everything. So I don't know why they're complaining. It's fine. <laughs> but without further ado, let's talk a little bit about what most of these stories have been about. Um, we have a new president. Well, we yeah. will in January. He's the president-elect right now, Mr. Donald Trump. How do y'all feel about that? <laughs> I Can don't talk about it? feel great about it. <laughs> okay. uh, how do you feel, Elena? I'm just glad it's over. Yeah, yeah well. that too. I'm glad this whole back and forth thing is over and done with, and we'll have someone to at least, I don't know, hopefully... Make some decisions for the future. Yep. I agree. Yeah. I'm tired of the campaign season. Like, it was just, it felt it was longer. Long. It felt longer this it year. It was so long. Um, I, yeah. yeah. Maybe cause it's because I actually got to vote. But, yeah. I don't know. But it just yeah. felt like a really long time. It and just felt ongoing mm-hmm. endlessly. It was. I remember arguing with my friend about this back last fall semester about who should be just the Republican nominee. Mm-hmm. I remember fighting about that. So, not fighting, having a discussion. A discussion that was very democratic and not rude at all. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. such a lie, but it's totally fine. <laughs> <laughs> well, the good news is we got through it and we're here now, and I don't know. We'll see what happens. It's over. Yeah. It, it, it's yeah. over. And I guess one good thing to remember like, if you are against Trump or whatever, like, okay, we're still a democracy. We still have, like, that's true. So many checks and balances. There's yeah, a we have the freedom of speech. We still have all the same rights that we had previously. Like that is not going to change. Right. Um, he still has to go through the House of Representatives and the Senate in order to get most things done. Yes. So, yeah. but I think these are also the moments to make us kind of see where our political system is now and where mm-hmm. it's been before. And I think this is the time to kind of talk about, like, how we can make things better mm-hmm. if there's things that need to be improved. Because needs to be reformed. That's the power is in the people. It's not in the government necessarily. Yeah. So I Absolutely. think we should keep that in mind. Absolutely. I think it's done a really good job of showing us, like, where – you're right, like, where America's at and, like, how yeah. we got here to have those two as our choices. You know, I know a lot of people weren't happy with either yeah. one. Neither one was mm-hmm. not a lot of people were crazy and it, about. And it's interesting to me how every single person I've talked to has said that. Like, I don't like either choice. How, why mm-hmm. are these my choices? And yet they were our choices. You mm-hmm. know, they ended up being – the Democratic and Republican nominee, even though absolutely no one I know liked either one of them. Yeah. And most of the yeah. media. So it's kind of the lesser of evils. Mm-hmm. And some people argue that you're still voting for an evil. Yeah. And it's just it's a hard situation. Right. But it is what it is. Mm-hmm. I voted for Pedro. Yes. <laughs> Good job. All my dr- my wildest dreams are now going to I was going to say. And there already are. <laughs> You're here this morning with I'm us. I'm on Good Morning Texas Tech right. Women's Crush Wednesday. How, what, how much better can it get? Exactly. That's exactly what I think. Pedro would make a great present. He, he would. would. bring us chimichangas. I love He gives you your tots, um, tater tots. Give me my tots. <laughs> oh, with a pinata. He could give us a pinata <laughs> in the shape of his computer. And he offers mm-hmm. protection. And he offers protection. That's like, true. Really, what more do you need? I don't know. Tacos? <laughs> Does he bring tacos? Chimichangas. I'm what sure he would. I don't think I've ever had a chimichanga. Eat cheese. I might have had it once. Is it like a burrito? Uh, it's like a mini burrito, like, almost like taco. Is it like thin? Like, dude, you know, I don't fully know what a chimichanga is. <laughs> I, I just like the like and tacos. Google it. Person. Okay. I'll Google it. My dad used to call me chimichanga. That was his nickname for me. So <laughs> on that note. <laughs> chimichanga. <laughs> Thanks for tuning into our election discussion. <laughs> and we stayed on a, topic. With yeah. a sidebar about chimichangas. But yeah, so we'll go ahead and get into our first song. Um, I thought this was cool and fitting, even though we're not like, we don't have kings and queens. But the first yeah. song we have for you is Royals That's by Lord. It. <laughs> it's great. So y'all keep it blocked to the left and we'll be back. My All right, dreams. we're live on Facebook. Oh. Hi, Facebook Live. I don't know if we're still if we're on Facebook yet. Or not? I don't know because the music's oh. still playing. <laughs> well, oh wait. Okay, hang on, hang on. In the bathroom. How about now? There you go. Hey, Facebook. Hope y'all are having a wonderful morning. We're 
sitting here in the studio jamming to Lord. Now Lord's gone, and I'm kind of sad mm -hmm. because I, I like I am that Lord. Song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have y'all ever seen that no. South Park <laughs> episode? It's so funny. <laughs> I'll have to great. show you a video. Of it. I am Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, I think the guy, the main character's dad, Stan is secretly Lord and dresses up as Lord, and everyone that's thinks awesome. that is Lord. That's he is Lord. so funny. And that's how he sings is, I am Lord, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And no one suspects a thing. <laughs> I, uh, Fascinating. I yeah. w found her Instagram the other day and, like, spent 20 minutes just creeping through all her pictures, and they're so funny. She just acts like a real person, and it's nice. <laughs> I think she is a real person. Is I, I think her name's Ella or Emma or something. It's not Lord. <laughs> What? Oh. I didn't know that. I don't know. I Mind thought she looked blown. like a lord. I don't know. What parents would name their child that? Kim and Kardashian. Lord. Kim and Kardashian. <laughs> Kim and Kanye. I feel like they'd name their that. child lord. Okay, um. it's Ella, Marija, Lani, Yelik, O'Connor. Oh, that's an awesome freaking name. How I believe she's from New Zealand. I wish oh, that was my New name. Zealand. Wow. Y'all, we all start calling me that. Can't remember. What it. is it? <laughs> Deej, what's my name? Ella Marija Lani Yelich O'Connor. It's too Sick. long. <laughs> yeah. Can you imagine? Not that I know how to pronounce it properly. Really yeah, that. That. <laughs> I don't know. That's great. Well, we have two viewers on Facebook Live right now, so that's cool. And I think that's me and Amy. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that makes you feel better Watch than us. I can eat. <laughs> oh, there's three. There's another one. Darn Deej, it. are you watching on the laptop? Hi. <laughs> I am. Oh. Okay, cool. So I am going to eat. Well, that's chill. It's totally fine. Well, Lord's latest post says, in my ears, there's just roaring. Hmm. She should probably get her ears checked. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that sounds like a trip to the doctor yeah. right there. <laughs> that's that's funny. so good. Wow. Well. All right. Uh, 30 seconds left. I'm going to switch the mics back, and we got sports up next. Sweet. Thanks, boss. Well, good morning, it's DG with your KTXT News Update. The Cowboys are playing their quarterback situation, quote, by ear. Owner Jerry Jones said on 105.3 The Fan in Dallas that they probably are never going to have this totally sorted out and that they will, quote, play it by ear, play it as it comes. Jones added that they are in a position to allow veteran Tony Romo to fully heal, saying, quote, He's really got to be ready to go at the top of his game. We've got the luxury of getting him that ready, end quote. Roma will see an increase in his workload at practice this week. Meanwhile, the Cowboys are back to work prepping for the Steelers. The teams will meet Sunday in Pittsburgh. The boys have won seven straight following last Sunday's 35-10 route of the Browns in Cleveland. Dallas sits atop the NFC East at 7-1, two games ahead of the Giants. The Steelers, meanwhile, have lost three in a row to dip to 4-4. Four and four. Harrison Barnes scored 31 points to lead the Mavs to a 109-97 win over the Lakers in Los Angeles. Seth Curry added 23 points off the bench for Dallas, which upped its record to 2-5. The Mavs continue their four-game road trip tonight at Golden State. The Stars were no match for the Jets in an 8-2 loss in Winnipeg. Tyler Seguin and Patrick Eves had the goals for Dallas, which dropped to 4-6-3. The Stars resume their five-game road trip tomorrow in Calgary. Texas A&M is now eighth, and Baylor is out in the latest college football playoff rankings. The Aggies dropped following a 35-28 loss at Mississippi State. The Bears fell after a 62-22 home loss to TCU. Meanwhile, Texas A&M quarterback Trevor Knight is out for the rest of the season with a shoulder injury. Knight was hurt in Saturday's loss at Mississippi State. Junior Jake Hubenak replaced Knight and will likely start Saturday against Old Miss. I'm DG. That was your KTXT Sports Update. Thanks so much, DG, for that KTXT sports update. I don't know why that was so difficult for me to say, but it was really appreciated. It's you were jamming. You were jamming to Lord. That's what it was. Cut yeah. my teeth I was jamming to Lord. Yeah. In the movies. Is that really <laughs> what she says? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
My teeth are wedding rings. And I cut, cut my teeth on wedding rings. Oh. But everybody's is like, dun, 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 dun. It's like, that would be really uncomfortable. Great. Have you been in the bathroom? <laughs> I rings? feel like we're all a little dazed and confused <laughs> I from yesterday. I events. literally, I stayed up till like three. I would, I was watching the movie, no, not the movie, the You're election. Up to like I know, <laughs> but I, but we were at my friend's house after church. We were like a bunch of us went over there to watch the election and um, the coverage and stuff. And we were like, this is super adulty to be watching the election, staying mm-hmm. up late. So that was cool. You were adulting last night? Is that what I'm hearing? I was actually adulting last night. I don't know if staying up till 3 a.m. is actually adulting. I think that's collegeing. Okay, well, yeah. we were college. I guess adulting is like going to bed at 10 yep. or 9. Ew. That's, that's Ew. what I Eight. If being wrong is right, then I don't want to be right. <laughs> I don't think that made sense, but it did. Okay, good. I'm so glad. All right, well, anyway, sports. 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 Okay, so this, <laughs> this last Saturday was super depressing if you were at the football game. Um, just overall, man, that was a rough game. Um, Tech fought hard. You know what? Actually, I was proud of our defense. They did something right, and they scored a goal. So I don't know if that was yeah. the okay. defense's job, but that at least one, they did something. Number 25, I don't know who you are, but that was really cool. Yeah, it was. That was 100 yards. I didn't, if any football players are listening to this, y'all are great, and I support you fully and wholeheartedly. Didn't you, uh... Yeah. Go on a rant about them? The other no, day? actually, that wasn't them. That was professional football players. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. I'm sick of them, but I love Just our Raiders. Checking. They are very good, and mm-hmm. they're trying their hardest. And number 25, <laughs> shout out. That was great. Yeah, I can't run 20 yards, and he ran 100 with a whole bunch of people chasing him. Mm-hmm. So, and it was just fun to watch. Yeah. That part, like, the beginning was really fun, and then I left. I saw so. Elena was on the big screen. It was on the jumbo. I was so excited. Mm-hmm. I screamed really loud. When Elena, and then I got really <laughs> mad because I've been trying to get on the Jumbotron all year. All Just year. With Elena. And Elena, yeah. who doesn't come to a game, <laughs> she's her freshman Jumbotron. year, gets on the Jumbotron. That's all her, she's her, been to this year, too. Game. <laughs> come on. I was so mad, but I was so happy for you. But I was so mad. It's, it's okay to be jealous. I've actually been on the Jumbotron. <laughs> it's a okay lot. to be jealous. <laughs> Most people are you. jealous of me, yeah. so it's fine. I, I got on the Jumbotron a lot when I was in a freshman. Ugh, just because be where my seats were, I it's like the place because yeah. we're always by the cheerleaders. Yeah, we were. It was funny because like the row I was on, it seemed like everybody to my right got on the jumbotron. The mm-hmm. camera showed them all the way up to the guy right next to me on my right, and then it was you, and then the people and then on, <laughs> and then it was you, and then the people on my left. Okay, that was wrong. My left, and then my right. Also got on the jumbotron and it cut off right next to me. No. And so the guy next to me, he like grabbed me and pulled me in because he knew I really wanted to be on the jumbotron. So I was like, "Thanks, bro." You I think got you me. were were you too much in the middle? I was. That's. I a mean, problem. we were. We always sit down in section like sixteen, like as close to the field as we can get. Um, we we're on the third row this time, so I don't know. You were super too... far from me. No, I wasn't. I was. I think I was probably pretty close to you. If you're by the cheerleaders, mm-hmm. yeah. But mm-hmm. it well, was sad. Either way, I was asleep for most of it because I was sick. And I'm, oh, so sorry. That's right. You're sick. Okay. I'm so I'm better sorry. now. I just needed, I needed a lot of sleep. Apparently, yeah, that'll do it. Sleep's good for you. It is. Sleep is very good <laughs> for you. Maybe, maybe that's what our red writers need is a good dose of sleep. Maybe because it couldn't hurt. It couldn't hurt because this week they're playing Oklahoma State. That should be interesting. Um, I don't know much about Oklahoma State. I've got the I've got the predictions pulled up. Um, Elena, why don't you go ahead and tell us what your prediction is? The Oklahoma State mascot is the Cowboys, and we are the Raiders. I feel like it's a pretty evenly matched. I mean, they're both pretty similar mascots. I feel like our colors are the only difference. Mm -hmm. We also wear a mask. I don't think they do that. I don't think so. Um, so, let's see. Would a mask make the difference, or would it harm us? According to Princess Bride, the mask helps. So, the masks help. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go with the Raiders, purely off of the mask, because that's really the only difference between the two and Maybe mascots. when they're off yeah. duty, like, our mascot can, you know, go after the other mascot. We have a it's gun. true. Yeah. That's true. They have a gun. Well, but, but we both have, they both have guns, oh, both have so guns. this is problematic. Well, I think your prediction lines up off. with the general prediction. Oklahoma State Doesn't is predicted always. to win 46, mm-hmm. Texas Tech 31, so we shall see come Wednesday. Nope, today's Wednesday. Come Saturday, how that's going to go. Um, so y'all keep it not locked to the left because we aren't covering the game. Y'all <laughs> just keep your eyes on the Red Raiders and pray because I really want them to win because I want our boys to be happy. That's all I want. 
That's awesome. I want them to be very happy. Kind of I you. just want them to be happy. So, yes, my prediction is that Texas Tech will pull it out and they will win, hopefully. Yeah, that was so, like, I'm, heartfelt. It was. It's Stay really, really realistic heartfelt. and open to all outcomes. And we'll be okay. Yeah. I thought Hillary win. was going to win and then Trump did. So, yeah. We'll, maybe Tech will win. Wreck them. It's yeah. a week of upsets. But wait, we think what? Tech is going to win. No, we're. Oh, we do? I thought we were predicting that. Oklahoma is going to win. That's what the prediction is, is Oklahoma's oh, going to win. Well, I predicted Tech won. Oh, well, me too. So maybe we'll be right. <laughs> Fingers crossed. But <laughs> we're going to go ahead and I'm just... so confused. It's fine. Everything's great. We're, we're going to all be okay. Course. It'll all be okay. So we're going to go ahead and throw it to our song, Viva La Vida by Coldplay. Y'all keep it locked to the oh, left, and we'll be back coming up next with more cool stuff for you. I, I thought... tried to go with a little bit of... that our people aren't here hey facebook if you're tuned Hello. in and watching us that's cool um Hi, facebook but we are trying to figure out i'm trying to figure out especially what we're about to do for this next segment because the girls that we were supposed to have here aren't oh. here so dg are you listening right now awkward um, we have a problem the girls we were going to interview didn't show up they were going to do pop culture news so um they're not here but you know what we can do since we're getting into the holiday season we can talk about our favorite part of the holidays? Well, we've got we've got several options here. We can we can talk about your holiday idea, or we can uh, talk about movies that feature the president. Donald Trump. Lots of movies, movies about the president. Uh, we can do what? <laughs> Haley's reaction. I know Haley's like, what the heck? I know. Anyway, aren't we all? Uh, tell me what you want to do. Um, is there any, is there a plan B or C? <laughs> okay. Well, plan C. Um, pop culture report. Do we have, we don't have any pop culture. I don't have yeah, any. Yeah, I'm sure we can think of something. Bring, yeah, I guess it's all presidential stuff yeah. right now. Yeah, you know, only, if, if I only knew what happened with the election, if only every media outlet was going 24-hour coverage with this and could tell me what actually happened, I just, I don't know. So are you saying we need to talk more about the election? No, please don't. <laughs> oh, okay. Man, so I our thought y'all were doing great, was, uh... basically really? haranguing, you know, we're so sick of it, let's move on. Okay, awesome. Okay, well then let's, I don't know, what do you want to talk about? What would be easiest for y'all to talk um, about for the next five minutes? I think, um, Facebook, tell us what we want to talk about. <sighs> if it means do a would thinking. you rather kind of thing. Okay. Well, we got Christmas coming up, you can talk about presents. Christmas presents, what you want, what you'd like Ooh, to give. Could you bring up, um, like, top presents for this year? Can you play Christmas oh. music? Yeah, I got all kinds of Can Christmas music. What some, do you want to hear? Um, a good Christmas song. Something that's super Christmas. You just want it playing <laughs> in the Christmas background? Song. Yep, I want lots of Christmas music playing in the background. Like, top Christmas presents for this year? Jingle bells, yeah. jingle bells, jingle bells. Yeah, there's bells, one with 100 on them, so there we go. So I guess we're going with a Christmas theme next time. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Because we'll it's Christmas out. time, apparently. Even though it's early November. Mm -hmm. My teeth really hurt. Mm. When's your birthday, Haley? November 29th. Mm. Oh, cool. So we're getting there quickly. It's like I knew yours was in November. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What are you asking for for your birthday? Peace and love and harmony in the world. Mm. That's all I want. I want good, happy people who don't hate each other just because they don't like the president. That's what I want. I, like I don't show. hate anyone because of the president. That's good. But yeah, appreciate that. That's really good. Because Facebook this past few days. Oh was my lanta has been so bad. Mm -hmm. People are I don't just like terrible. The president, but you know, that's not really everyone else's fault, you know, yeah. necessarily. I appreciate that, Amy, because everyone there's a girl that I'm friends with on Facebook that I refuse to unfriend because I don't want to unfriend anyone because of their political views. Yeah. But she is just so hateful about everyone who is everyone who disagrees with her or has like Differing views. Okay. Thank you. Bye, Facebook. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Same. And it's driving. I can't. I mean, I'm going to stay her friend on Facebook because, you know, that's. I'm not. I refuse to. I not. mean, people that talk excessively about, like, yeah, Trump, I'll just unfollow them. I won't unfriend them necessarily. Mm -hmm. I was like, I don't want to. <laughs> the first thing you 
you hear as we come into Elvis is the crunch of a latest cliff bar. So that, <laughs> welcome to the holiday season, folks. <laughs> oh, man, we thought it would be super fun to talk a little bit about since it's early November and Thanksgiving is coming up, what our favorite part of Christmas is, because that makes sense. We're such, I don't know, I love Christmas. I'm one of those people, I'll put up my tree as early as I can. Actually, I need to take down my Halloween decorations at my apartment first, but then... It could be Nightmare Before Christmas. It could be. Where'd the Christmas Beans. music go? It stopped. <laughs> I love the Christmas music. <laughs> it's my, I mean, I listen to Christmas music in June. Like, I'm not mm. even kidding. If I just get in the mood, thanks, boss. If I just get in a mood, man. This isn't a very happy Christmas song. Oh, but it's Elvis. No, it's, Elvis it's a though. classic. This is a classic <laughs> Christmas, Christmas song. It. Yes. I also really like Josh Groban. Oh, so yeah. He does good. Mm -hmm. He does. What's y'all's favorite Christmas songs? <clears throat> Amy? Um, well, I like Josh Groban's Noel. That's mm. really pretty. Mm. And I like uh, Frank Sinatra's mm. The One He Does. I don't know. I guess all of it's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, it is all my favorites. Good. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Elena, I, don't I know, know you're saying you don't know. <laughs> you have to have one that when it comes on, you're like, oh, I love this song. <sighs> I haven't, I feel like, because I haven't like listened that. to it for a year. I don't remember. <laughs> what? How but it's been every remember? year. It's every year of your life, this yeah, place. Yeah, but I don't know, y'all. I don't remember. Oh, Elena. I'm a fail There's... at Christmas. Come on, Elena. Okay. I'm looking up on my Well, Spotify my favorite, right while Elena's trying to figure her life out, my favorite <laughs> one is Oh Holy Night by Martina McBride. She goes ham on that. Nice. And huh. her, she, guys, like, oh, my Lanta. I love Martina McBride. She has such a beautiful voice, and it is just so great to hear her go hardcore, hardcore. on you that know what? Oh Holy Night. Sorry. No, what? I don't know what. <laughs> Tell me what. Okay. I was thinking, I do thoroughly love... How in, in Elf, when they sing Baby, It's Cold Outside. Oh, yeah. That's a beautiful it little, is. little segment. I, I love Elf. I know Will Ferrell had such pipes, but there you go. It's, that's a good one. Oh, I want to fall in love with someone listening to Christmas music. That was really girly. You, you, <laughs> don't, don't you have a boyfriend there? I do. <laughs> hint, hint. Let's listen to Christmas music sometime. I love Christmas music. It makes me happy. Mm -hmm. That would be fun if we could do it. To that song. Okay, well, with Christmas coming up, also my birthday's coming up, so we were talking about presents, and that makes me really happy. So mm -hmm. Amy has pulled up the list of um, what the top Christmas presents are predicted to be this year. So Amy, why don't you go ahead and give us a little taste of that? Okay, well, I got this off of bestproducts.com. It's the 80 best Christmas gifts of 2016 for everyone Sweet. on your list. And the first thing that comes up is Anki Cosmo. It's like a little toy robot, I guess. It's a cute little robot with a ton of personality powered by sophisticated artificial intelligence. Oh. It's self-aware, capable of recognizing the owner, expressing feelings, and ready to play games. So I guess it's like one of those cool little robot toys, like the little robot dog yeah. or something like that. Is it for adults? I guess, like if you're into that thing. My mom got me Jenga. I, she literally got me wooden blocks. <laughs> and it's for $180. So <laughs> for those crap. like really techy people, <laughs> mm -hmm. go Come for on. it. Why not? Man, that's intense. And next we have the Birch Box Beauty Boxes, which I've heard of this before. Yeah, they seem those pretty are good. cool. Yeah, Popular $10 good. per month for beauty lovers who love discovering new brands. Mm -hmm. uh, it's pretty much delivered to your door. You get all kinds of new beauty products mm -hmm. and so forth. And next okay. on the list is the Apple iPhone 7 mm. or the iPhone 7 Plus. That came out? Yeah. Or I guess... Did it come out? Yes, guess, Elena, yeah. it came out a while <laughs> yeah. ago. Okay. People yeah, have been behind. complaining about it. I'm super DG behind. DG has one. What? I didn't know that. Look at that. Deej, you're up with the times. There yeah, go, I guess boss. enough is said about that. <laughs> iPhone 7. <laughs> and next is the Too Faced Mary Macarons. It's like an eyeshadow palette by Too Faced. It's Mary Macarons is what it's called. Huh. Okay. Well, those aren't things I would want. <laughs> you, you don't, don't like eyeshadow? I don't want a robot or an eyeshadow or a phone. <laughs> I want love and affection. Ooh. Well, next you might like this one. It's called Wine Awesomeness Gift Box. Hey. <laughs> It's for $45 for one month. I guess you get all kinds of wine products. That's crazy. It says, give the gift of vino. So. Give the gift of vino. Uh, what I else? I like I would get that and then want have some to more. throw away like half the wine because I wouldn't like it. Really? Well, yeah, wine's not my I favorite. I thought you liked wine. I, I 
do. But uh, <laughs> I do. I do. There's like some that aren't that just aren't good. Yeah. yeah. It has to be specific. They're like too too strong or too dry. Yeah. Not I don't thing. know. That's everybody cuz I'm turning 21 on November 29th and mm-hmm. everyone's like, "Oh, Haley, we're going to get you this. We're going to get you that. Like, what's your favorite kind of drink?" And I'm like, "I really I'd yeah. rather have actual presents. I don't <laughs> Yeah. I'm not a huge fan of alcohol, yeah. so I'd you rather get a lot have of actual... shot glasses when you're yeah. 21 and a lot of like random stuff that like oh this is so cute i'm never but gonna use this again amy got yeah. me a wand for my 21st hey, birthday which oh, i yeah. that. thoroughly it's i've like used a wand it pin, uh, i've right? used it mm-hmm. that's mm-hmm. interesting i've used it yeah oh that's that cool, cool. Okay. well um since we're talking about gifts and birthday gifts and stuff <laughs> what's what if y'all could pick anything for christmas this year what would you want your oh. gift to be I'm giving all these hard questions on the oh, spot. I haven't really thought about making this. you think about it. <laughs> it's like a long time it's away. A hard question. It's not that far away. Well, I'm graduating <laughs> this December, so I guess money would be nice. I know money? that's a pretty generic gift. <laughs> Money's but a good gift. Money is good. Money's a good gift. Help to pay off my loans. That'd be nice. Yeah. Okay. So out of everything that you could potentially ever get money is what you would want that's the first thing that comes to my mind i know it's not okay. very no that creative, works it works but yeah elena do you have an answer for <laughs> us this time maybe <laughs> okay well i mean you kind of explain it B- birthdays uh-huh. are before christmas uh-huh. it makes it hard to think about christmas uh-huh. you know because you're thinking about what you want me for your birthday so it depends on what i get for the birthday when is your then, birthday um november 15th hey so, i didn't know that that's once awesome. that's over i feel like i could better answer that question okay um Let's see. Uh, like, dream present? Yeah. Okay. This is going to be super out there then. <laughs> um, I would love a a trip to Iceland. That would be fun. Ooh, that would be oh, cool. That's good. That would be really cool. It just sounds like fun. Go that's see nice. the Northern Lights. Go stay yeah. in an igloo. That would be really cool. Well, isn't Iceland the green one? Okay. <laughs> yep. Finland. We're going to go to Finland. Oh, you Finland. want to go to Greenland. Okay, there you go. Or Greenland. Greenland. You know which would ever one. Isn't Iceland the, the green one? <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Yeah, the one in the exactly north. Right. Yep. Okay. That's one, okay. Of those, one of those ones. I got you. All right. Well, I want a dog. I always want a dog. That's always you my... You have a dog. I don't. She's at home, and she's with my parents, and she's a little dog, and she's kind of annoying, so I really want a smart, <laughs> big dog that could bring me drinks and stuff. That's what I want. <laughs> That's it. Okay. Fascinating. (laughs) Well, that just about wraps us up for our Christmas segment. We're going to go ahead and go into our news update before we get to the weather and the next song we've got here for you. So, yeah. Dallas County is staying blue. 69-year-old Lupe Valdez will continue to describe herself as the nation's only Hispanic lesbian sheriff, easily winning her fourth four-year term. And despite an upcoming federal corruption trial, Dallas County Commissioner John Wiley Price had no trouble holding on to his office, winning in a landslide. County Commissioner Teresa Daniel Cruz to victory over her Republican challenger, Stephen Rochelle. Three Hispanic Republicans are assessing what went wrong with their be- their bid to keep the Texas House seats, including two San Antonio representatives. The Alamo City's John Luan will give his District 118 seat to Democrat Thomas Uresti. Representative Rick Galindo is also coming home, outsided by... Um, Democrat Philip Cortez, who previously held District 117. In Pasadena, Republican State Representative Gilbert Pena lost big to Democrat Mary Ann Perez. Illegal immigrants are still crossing the border ahead of a Donald Trump presidency, but some are being caught. U.S. Customs and Border Protection say three men were found stuffed into the trunk of a car at a checkpoint in Falfurious over the weekend. A dog and a handler sniffed out the men during a secondary inspection of the vehicle. In all, 16 Ill- illegal immigrants were caught sneaking across the border in eight separate traffic stops in South Texas. There's more uncertainty ahead for Dallas Cowboy fans. Team owner Jerry Jones tells KRLD-FM that the quarterback situation, pitting veteran Tony Romo against rookie Dak Prescott, won't be sorted out anytime soon. Prescott has helped Dallas get seven consecutive wins while Romo has been recovering from a back injury. Jones says there is no timeline for determining the starting quarterback for the remainder of the season. That does it for your KTXT News Update. I'm Haley. Now we have DG with your weather before we go to our next song. Thanks, Haley. The National Weather Service forecast for Lubbock and vicinity, partly sunny today. Highs in the mid-50s with northeasterly winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. Mostly cloudy tonight, lows in the low 40s. Southeasterly winds becoming southwesterly after midnight. And more of the same tomorrow, slightly warmer Thursday. Mostly cloudy skies expected with highs around 60. Looks like... uh, 
Partly cloudy conditions with fairly mild temperatures expected the rest of the week and a slight chance of rain as we head into Saturday. Currently in Lubbock, overcast skies, 45 degrees. Wind is from the north at 9 miles per hour. That's creating a wind chill of 40 degrees. Definitely want a jacket as you head out this morning. Up next, Lane Boy by 21 Pilots. Good morning, Texas Tech. Yeah, Lena does a good job picking out the songs. Mm -hmm. um, good job. What is this I song about? I don't know. Boy. I've never heard this song. Is this like bowling? <laughs> awesome. Um, I think it's about... Uh, Should we smile for you? Oh, wait. She's taking a smile picture. Oh, okay, okay, wait. She's, she's, she's taking about. a picture because I'm about to tell you some really depressing news. Oh, no. Oh, great. Well, don't tell us yet. We have to smile. Okay. But smile. I've got stuff in my teeth. Your next segment's also canceled. <laughs> what? <laughs> I wanted her to get your reaction. Ah! What are we going to do? Why do people bail? We've got you covered. I've got you covered. Do you? I do. I'm sorry uh, that was so high. Gonna do, are they not do, coming? We're gonna no. Do, no, they canceled, they canceled the what? dance on Saturday, so Why? they're not going to promote what? something they've canceled. Why did they cancel the dance? I don't know. I don't know those details. That's it's, really uh, sad. What was, was it? It could Well, the... The Vernacular Music Center was going to have a big dance down at Luca, and I don't know. Good. I don't know the details. I don't know if it was Luca. I don't know if it was the dance people. I don't know. <coughs> but they've canceled the dance, so they're not going to promote it. So they're not coming on the show to talk about it. So what <sighs> we're going to do instead, and Facebook audience is getting to hear the inside right. scoop. Woo. We're going to have a movie segment. We've got okay. Josh and Savannah and me, and if y'all have seen any recent releases, uh, feel free to join in. Okay. Okay, so we're going to have a movie okay. segment. <laughs> Sounds good. It, it's all good, Haley. We'll carry it. Okay. Yeah, we got you covered. We, we got you. Hey, Remember. we got eight viewers on Facebook. That's Yay. right. Hey. 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 Better right. than Facebook. Facebook. Yeah, on camera, they all went crazy. Good it's morning, like, friends. I apologize. I was eating. Who's Ryan Who's Ryan Stafford? <laughs> Ryan Stafford is one of my friends in my um, church is that, group. Is that your BF? That is not my BF. Oh, no. Just, just, just. <laughs> that, is, that is just one of my really good friends. <laughs> Hi, Ryan. Cool. Yay. Okay. Hi, Cam, Cam, Kamal. Hi, Kamal. They're turned in, tuned in, turned in. What? Kamal is on here. Kamal McCrom oh. is on here. And okay. Cindy Scooter. Bye. Cindy Scooter is my mom. Who's mom? I don't know, but Kamal is saying that we're beautiful and also oh. said Hillary Clinton. So okay. <laughs> recommend that. There we um, go. Laura just joined us. Yeah, we've got some people. Laura. Carla Reyes Kamal Madina. McCrum. This is great. Tabitha Miller. Wow, you've got all your friends checking in. This is awesome. Yeah, I'm really excited about this now. This is great. <laughs> See? <laughs> it's looking up. Yay! Yay! We have an Thank audience. Support. It's a Festivus miracle. Hi, Laura. <laughs> Hi, Tabitha. Festivus. Oh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> y'all are so Christmas. great. Thanks That's for right. watching Christmas the Christmas got everybody too. You started talking about Christmas. And Hi, Carla. Like, oh, yeah. Carla. Man, all your friends are Everyone on here, Christmas. Carla Medina said shout out to my baby girl, Haley. Hey, oh, Carla. <laughs> yeah. Yay, Reckham. This is awesome. Reckham. So excited. Reckham. We have seven viewers, y'all. This is the most viewers I think we've had no, in all day. No, we've been up to actually about to 14, believe it or not. Hey, that's awesome. Yeah. Whoa. Well, I said to, gotta well, keep, today. Gotta keep setting records here. Got a minute do? left on Lane Boy. We're blowing oh, through. Okay. So we're doing movies now? Yeah, we're going to do a movie segment next. Okay. And we've got Josh and Savannah in the studio to okay. talk about some recent releases. I have a movie I'm going to go see. I'm going to go see that. What is it? Ridge something? I'm going to see that on Thursday. Should we have movies so, up yeah. and ready then? Yeah. yeah they've got I just some. saw one. Oh, I awesome. honestly don't remember what it was. I liked it. <laughs> it was that memorable. It was that good. <laughs> All right. 30 Can second warning. I'm going to switch the mics back, <laughs> y'all. Sweet. So I could remember which one it was. I All right, that was Lane Boy by 21 Pilots. We never did decide what that song is about, but it's a, got a good beat, so that's cool. On this next segment for y'all, we have a little bit of a movie discussion. We're going to talk about what's out in theaters right now, what's good, what's good in the hood, if y'all want to go see movies. <laughs> We're joined by some special guests, Mr. Josh and Miss Savannah. Mr. Josh. Mr. Josh. <laughs> I'll take it. You know. How are you doing? So oh, good. 
They've seen a lot of movies lately, is what I'm told. Well, right? We don't know about a lot, a but lot. you know, there's a not a whole lot amount. to watch at the moment, I don't think. <laughs> That's <No>. true. <laughs> That's true, but it's nice to escape into the movie world right now. Well, you know, we, we had lots of fun last night, but but that's kind of been the point of today is an escape. And and by the way, just wanted to credit you guys. Y'all are doing a great job of that because oh, I think that's you. what thank the you. world needs this morning is a little Absolutely. bit of smiles and cheer, and, and we've, well, we've needed thanks. it pretty bad today. So yeah. th- thank you for being here this morning. Of course. Sure. Well, thank you for being here. Much that, well, I, I'm, I'm usually here. I just usually try to hide behind the scenes so people don't see me, you know. So, but anyway. <laughs> So anyway, I had a chance this weekend to go see Doctor Strange, which oh, is so currently, I believe, the number one movie at the box office. Um, you know, it, it's one of those things. I mean, now you guys have clearly seen other Marvel movies, I'm pretty sure, right? Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. So, yes. so uh, the biggest yes. thing that I would say is this is probably the biggest um, change of direction Marvel's had so far in terms of, of movie characters. Um, it's not your regular uh, superhero kind of movie. Uh-huh. Uh, th- now, uh, my understanding is the reason, of course, they did Doctor Strange strange is because they really want to open up kind of the Marvel universe, if right. you will, because there's a lot of stuff that's more supernatural, magical, right. uh, having to Outside do with like alternate Avengers. worlds. Mm-hmm. And and the reason they doctor they did Doctor Strange was for that purpose. So it's not your common movie. You're not going to walk in there and be like, oh, Hulk smash or whatever. Hulk you know, smash. Kind of, <laughs> it's, it's a different concept. It's actually a very trippy movie at moments. Um, they actually pattern a lot of it off the comics. And one of the jokes with uh, the people back in the 70s when they were making the comics is that a lot the readers would joke and say, I think they were tripping when they did this. And the, the artist actually said, no, they just had a chance to actually get really creative and, and uh-huh. they took advantage of it. So <laughs> cool. the, the movie makers did the same and, and some of the uh, graphics and stuff will literally if especially if you're watching 3D, will probably make your head spin a it's little. It's Benedict Cumberbatch, right? And it's Benedict actor. Cumberbatch, which oh, is the biggest part cool. of that movie. Uh, awesome. The interesting thing that I, I guess I just wasn't paying enough to attention to the previews was the uh, girl in it, which is um, oh the notebook. Rachel uh, McAdams. Rachel McAdams, which I was not expecting that for some reason. Yeah, I guess I didn't either. keep I up with previews enough. And so she's actually the kind of sort of love interest. Okay. Um, and, and so she was actually really good, too, just as kind of a change of pace, I, I guess you her. could say. She's so, a really good actress. So, yeah, I was actually impressed with the movie. Uh, I, I know not everybody's going to love it just because it's not your typical Marvel movie. Right. My wife went with me. She was not exactly on board with it. But uh, <laughs> we'll just say that if if you if you plan to watch future Marvel movies, especially the next Thor, because he's going to be in the next uh, Thor. Y'all, I'm so excited for the next Thor. I love uh, but he will, so good. Uh, Doctor Strange actually plays a role in that movie. Oh, cool. And so if you don't watch this one, you may be a little confused by the time you get there, okay. and especially some of the future stuff that's probably going to happen, especially there's the whole multiverse thing yeah, in yeah, Marvel, yeah. which we've seen a little bit of. I but, love that, uh, how they do that, how they make really them all big. tie together. That's, yeah. Yeah. The, that's I cool. think that's really cool. It's, so. ma- it's an incentive to make people go watch their movies. Too. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and you know, interesting thing is, is that as with many Marvel's movies, this one does have a high rating on, on uh, Rotten Tomatoes, but mm-hmm. I believe it's actually quite a bit higher than some of the last couple of uh, superhero movies, especially Good. I know that uh, X-Men didn't do so well. And I, I think Captain America <laughs> Civil War did okay. But, uh, but <laughs> so this you think one, it's worth seeing? Yeah. I, you know, I, I just recommend that if you are looking for something a little different, uh, if you're willing to open your mind uh, to, you know, a different Broaden concept, then I think you'll enjoy it. If you're too stuck in the idea of, you know, the Avengers, you, you might not enjoy it as much. But I think it might be good to kind of do something different with yeah, them. It is. As far as it's that. definitely a little different. It still has the Marvel undertones. There's still a lot of comedy, which makes it a lot, uh, very lighthearted movie in many ways. I feel like it's kind of like so. Guardians of the Galaxy. Guardians um, of the... Not to that extreme, but, okay. but they had to do the comedy just because some of the concepts I think are so dark. deep and dark, yeah, yeah and, and pretty dark in, in some ways that they really just had to make sure people could, you know, enjoy it a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it, for it sure. is for a for a origin, sh- uh, you know, movie. There's a lot going on. So well, that's cool. You gotta yeah. gotta yeah. kind of keep you keep up with what's what's happening. So. I'd like to see. Yeah, that. I don't know much about Doctor Strange. I heard a lot of good things about it before this movie came out. Right. But uh, I feel like Deadpool also kind of helped it to go in a different direction instead of just mm-hmm. like your typical. You know, movie. Deadpool was such a, a, a <laughs> you know, such a change from the norm. But but I think much like with Doctor Strange, it had a uh, niche audience that already was looking forward to right. it. And Doctor Strange is the kind of same kind of way. There's already you know a, a built-in audience for people who wanted to see it anyway. And and Deadpool was definitely that way. What I think people didn't really realize with or expect with Deadpool was the uh, marketing. Uh, it you was know, with so the, funny. There was so much marketing. Really like, uh, and Ryan Reynolds is just perfect for that role. He I mean, really. Perfect. I was surprised at how good he was. Yeah, it was a really it, good. Just, movie. It was amazing, so. and I was—I went and saw it, and I was like, "This is so inappropriate." And I was, but like, once you get there, <laughs> and you're it. like, you just kind of accept, like, "Holy crap, this is right. awful." 
then it's really funny. Well, yeah, and and, that's and not I think good, but... you, you got to remember too, it's R rated, and that's and that's right. not Doctor Strange by any means. It's not an R rated movie right. by any any means. But that's kind of the point is that you know they they are trying to find ways to get in a little bit mm-hmm. more, I guess, mature audience. And uh, right, you know, Doctor Strange, a kid could watch it and probably be okay with it. But believe me, most of the concepts are well beyond what what a kid is probably understanding. And mm-hmm. even for an adult, I think some of the metaphysical stuff is like what you know. So yeah. so the whole astral uh, astral projections, plane. The plane stuff Ooh, is is interesting, so cool, but it's guys. definitely different than than you know Hulk smash. Like I said, you know, I'll have to check that out. I want to so. see it more. It now. looks really mm-hmm. good. But uh, yeah, you made me want to go see it. Well, there you go. Okay, well, good. That's our that's our goal here goal today. Achieved. And Savannah, I, I hear that you've checked out another movie that's getting a lot of um, good reviews uh, right now. Um, yes, Hacksaw Ridge. Yes. Have any of you seen it? No, no. but I'm going on Thursday. What is it about? Pumped. Okay. It is rated R. I will start out and say it is definitely rated R. It is gory and very, oh God, it's very um, straight in your face, disgusting gore. And, it's a I war mean, movie. It's, it's a, a war, war movie. movie. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes. It's the true story of Desmond Doss, who won the Congressional Medal of Honor despite refusing to bear arms during World War II based on his religious beliefs. Wow. And it is so moving. He saved 75 men. All in one night. And it is crazy, you guys. I I cried through the whole movie for no oh, reason. It's a horror movie? I, no, it's a no. war movie. Oh, it's based a war on movie. World War II. <laughs> it's a horror movie. I was like, what? Yes. This is taking a different turn than I thought. War. Yes. Okay, he didn't sorry. believe in bearing arms, so he thought he should just save people instead of killing people. It's freaking awesome. It is. It is so good, and I think everyone should go see it. If you're not into gore... Maybe don't. But <laughs> other than Maybe that, don't. it looks so good. Yes, yeah, it's it very does. patriotic. So <laughs> we need that right now. Yeah, we yes. do. We need some God bless America up yes, in here. Yes, we do. And <laughs> it, <laughs> it is exactly that. But need some the gore is there. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. I re- I'm going to go see that on Thursday night. So I'm really excited. If you go mm-hmm. to the Alamo Draft House after 10 o'clock, it's a lot cheaper. It's like six dollars a it ticket. Or, yeah, right? for students. For yes. students. And if you follow our events, we often give out free Alamo Draft House yes, tickets. Yes, we do. So, we do. We're going to be giving a bunch of those away before Christmas break. And what are we talking about? Giving out some tickets for our 2000 like on Facebook. Mm. I think we were. Me oh. and Brian were talking about that anyway. Oh, look at but, that. Well, you know, like us on Facebook and who knows, you might get some tickets. You might mm-hmm. just do that. Well, thank you all so much for helping us out with that movie segment. Um, go check out those movies. First, we have, <laughs> before you go check those movies out, yeah, that's right. we yeah. have Get Happy um, by Pink Martini featuring, who is it that it's featuring, Elena? Someone? Uh, Rufus Wainwright. Rufus Wainwright. Yeah. So y'all listen to this and enjoy it. We'll be back with some What Grinds My Gears after this song. Hi, Facebook. Hi, Facebook. Hi. Hope y'all are having a wonderful morning. We have a couple more viewers with us. We have eight, nine. Wow. Look at that. We're bumping We're up. doing good. I like how uh, Carla says, I still e- listen even without Brandon. Yeah, you know, me so. too. Oh, that's <laughs> great. Go, Carla. Thank appreciate you, Carla. That, Carla. Appreciate it. <laughs> that's funny. Well, um, yeah, so we have some, I don't know. We've got What Grinds My Gears coming up next. If y'all who are oh, tuned shoot. in on Facebook would like to tell us what grinds your gears, we will share that with our, everybody listening once the show resumes play. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. Do you have one, Elena? Have you thought of one? I've thought of one, but it's more serious. That's okay. It's okay. That's okay. So We're in a serious time. <coughs> we are. And country. I wanted it to be happy. Y'all, nothing, I mean, stuff has occurred, but mm-hmm. I just haven't had any more funny things occur yeah just kind of that i can talk about on air well (laughs) um that's okay so i don't know Mm -hmm. i'm telling y'all i peaked you peaked. Well, <laughs> you done peaked early. <laughs> peaked super well, you peaked on early. Your grind your gears. It's probably gonna be negative in some way. Yeah. So it's okay. Yeah. Because you can't like mention like people you really know yeah, or right. anything, and because a lot of times that's what happens. Is it's like people you know. People grind your gears. People. Not like even people, but like just stuff happens uh-huh. with them, and you don't want to like embarrass them or. Right. I feel you. So anywho, that's the struggle. That's the struggle. That's but, es la struggle. I don't mm-hmm. know. That wasn't Spanish. I need Spanish. What about you guys? Do you have <laughs> All right. 30 seconds away. Lines? I'm going to switch the mics. Okay, cool. Thanks, Deej. Short, so we'll, cool. we'll be back. Facebook. Keep it left to the left. Oh, I 
love that song. That was a good song. It just, I mean, it says, get happy, happy days. We get happy, that. guys. Get happy. I'm it's happy. It's like such a happy song. It is happy song. That's nice. Well, um, it is time for What Grinds My Gears. That was beautiful. Those gears are grinding hard. And I think we're all at a gear grinding place right now. So that's fine. We're, we're yeah. there. I think DG's nodding his head heavily. So I'm going to get back to DG in a minute and see what he grinds his gears. Because I think he yeah. has something to share. But first, Elena says she has one to share. So, Elena, please share with us what grinds your gears. Okay. And I apologize. Once again, this is not, like, a very fun one. But... Anywho, one thing that has really been grinding my gears lately um, is just social media with this election. Just so many people have been so angry and, like, hateful Mm -hmm. um, over social media about the other side, whether it be the candidate or whether it just be, if you go vote for this person, you might as well just unfriend me because I hate you. Yeah. And, (laughs) like, literally that has been something that has been posted multiple times by multiple of my Facebook friends. And... You know what? That is rude. (laughs) Yeah. And just beyond that, like, that is very divisive, and that is the very thing that a lot of people are saying the other side is being. Like, I mean, both sides are saying it. Oh, the other side's so divisive. You both are being divisive by saying stuff like that. Yeah. And not... You know what? We can have, like, calm discussions about politics and not make it so emotional and personal. Like, people have different opinions. They come from different backgrounds. They have different reasonings for voting for people. You may not agree with them, but be nice. You don't have to be rude or go on millions of rants on your social media to try and make a point. It's not going to change anyone's mind. It's just going to make people not want to be your friend. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, anyway. And not listen to your opinion. And not listen to your opinion. So, it's not even a good psychological thing um, for being persuasive. So, anywho, that is my biggest grinding of my gears. This song's a nice song. I don't know. It yeah. sort of ties in. Beatles. It does. I do know this song. It oh, it's come yeah. together. Okay. I was trying to figure out, like, yeah. why does this good tie in? It, it makes there. sense. It, yep. it does yeah. make sense. That like, come together instead of Stand apart. just being angry at one another. We're it the United do States of America. Not... Yeah. Uh, yeah, right. that's, I don't know how to make a clever joke out of that. But we're united, and I agree with you, Elena. We're not ununited. Ununited. <laughs> we're united hates. <laughs> <laughs> that was so stupid. Oh, no. Man, that was bad. Well, before I make any more crappy jokes, DG, why don't you tell us what grinds your gears? You want to hear what grinds my gears, really? Seriously? Yes, yes I do. Okay, I've got to double clutch this one. Hang on a second. <laughs> What grinds my gears? The time change. The time change? I am really? sick of this time change. Really? Yes. Why? Like okay, well, of the two, the fall is the lesser one because you fall back. So we actually gain an hour. Mm-hmm. But now it gets dark at like 6.30. Mm-hmm. That's true. So you can't do anything outside at, at, you know, at that time because Ooh, it's like too it. dark. And I'm already at work at dark 30 in the morning, so that didn't change. Zero dark 30. But uh, come spring, we're going to be sucking. I mean, it's going to be worse in the spring because then we lose that hour. I hate the time change. There's no good. There's no valid reason for it in the 21st century, in my opinion. That's Seriously. True. That's true. And I still have clocks in the studio that I've got to fix. So you know. <laughs> my car's still set on the exactly. last one. I haven't. I can't and it probably out how will to be. Change my car yeah, clock. It'll probably exactly. stay the same until um until next semester and not next semester until the next time change. So, that's so cool. my body is still trying to get used to huh. this new schedule, and it'll it'll take by the time I finally get used to it. Yeah, it'll, it'll be switch over. Again, and then I like I've got it. To readjust. I like mm-hmm. getting up and it being light outside and like the darkness in the evenings. I like that a lot. This morning I woke up and it was seven fifteen. <laughs> I'm so bad at waking up. <laughs> you are. <laughs> I, You're so bad at going to bed. I have I mean, my mother. Yeah. Sleep, girl. I literally have my mother call me on Wednesday mornings to make sure I'm awake at six o'clock. And she does, and I wake up and answer the phone every <gasps> single time, and then I go right back to sleep. <laughs> And I'm just like, oh, Your poor I'm, mother. I know. Well, she's already awake. Okay. She's got school. She's a principal. And okay. so she's already up. And so she calls me and is like, good morning. Are you awake? Mm-hmm. And I'm like, yes, I am. And then I hang up and I go right back to sleep and I'm not awake. <laughs> so it's, it's a lie. And it's fine. But, well, I'm sorry that, you, that your gears are being grinded by the time change. Well, it's you? just, you know, that's just one of many. But we'll just <laughs> go for that one right now. But okay. I, I agree with Elena. I'm, 
I'm ready for Facebook. In fact, I'm going on a moratorium on Facebook today. I'm just it's not a good idea. Yeah. With it, so. yeah. I think I'm going to do that too. I actually so. just posted, well, not just posted, but I posted something that was pretty ambiguous. Like, this is going to be a long couple of years, four years. Yeah. And uh, of course, one of my relatives, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to say his name, um, had to post <laughs> and say something not as nearly long as it would have been. And of course, that kind of obligates right. me to say something. I don't want to say something, especially if it's family, but. You know, maybe people. You could just say like, like, just "Love like, you, Uncle." That's all you have to do. Just love you, Uncle. Whatever yeah. your name is. Seriously, that's what I've started to do. Is like, okay, love you, praying for you. <laughs> I mean, I'm all for saying your opinions and stuff, but doing it on social media and like with people you're close with, it's kind of it's hard, hard. Yeah. to do. Mm-hmm. So yeah. try not to do that, people, especially yeah. people you're close with. Right. Don't let like p- politics ruin your friendships, yeah. your relationships. Yeah. Don't like that's stupid. Like, instigate things. Yeah. Especially, yeah, if you know, if you know that this is going to be a fight, like, just don't do it. You know, don't pursue it. It's so, not worth yeah. it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Amy, what grinds your gears? Would oh, that be? That's what that, grinds that's your gears? That's what grinds my gears, okay. yeah. <laughs> cool. I was like, that sounds like a gear grinding That moment, is but, what yeah. grinds my gears. Yeah. I think I can, I can track on this bandwagon. Last night mm-hmm. we were, um, we were, a bunch of my friends were at my, <laughs> one of my friend's house. There's so many friends. They were all there watching the election and the majority of my friends are conservatives. So they're going for Trump. And then a couple of my friends are, um, were democratic and they were going for Hillary. And when they said that, like, I just, the thing, like, if you know, somebody has differing opinions in you, be, be like, I don't know, be mature and be polite about it. And don't, if you continually like harp on it and make negative comments and say mean things, even though you know the person sitting next to you has differing opinions than you, then you're the problem. You know, like they're not the problem with their different opinion. You're the problem by making it an issue. You know, Mm -hmm. like you, you could have the completely right opinion. Absolutely. If there's such a thing as a right opinion, like you could be in the right or whatever. But if you're making it into a thing where you're going to use it to be mean and hurtful, then that's not right. And it makes me really mad. Yeah. Those are my gears. They have been grinded. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But we can be very happy that this election is over. Yes. We, I really think after the next few days, we probably won't hear anything about it on the social medias, mm-hmm. at least from friends. I'm Until sure like we'll be January. hearing about the news all the right. time. But right. But come January, we'll see. I think it's going to be okay. I yeah. Think. Either yeah. way, it would have been okay, honestly. Yeah. But we're still, I mean, like I said, we're still a democracy. We still yes. have... A lot of the things that protect mm-hmm. against, I think a lot of the things that are, people are fearing um, with this election, like, coming true, like, we still have, like, mm-hmm. you know, protections the against that. We still have the, the Constitution. Amendments. We still have um, other people in power that are, like, they're not going to, I don't yeah. know. Do it's you not know just I mean? the president that's It's not just everything. the president. Like, we, the president is, yes, a very important person in our country, but, like, there's a lot of other people in power that are yeah. also there. Yeah. So anyway, it's going to be okay. So it'll all be okay. Be Forget your worries. Don't panic. Come on, get happy. Come on, get happy. I wish I had like this. I don't know why. This is so random. This music makes me think of like Target. I don't know why it makes me think of Target. That makes Maybe no sense. <laughs> it makes <laughs> absolutely like no sense. But I'm like sitting here listening to that, and I'm like, man, I just want an icy. I'm gonna go walk around Target with my icy <laughs> and popcorn. Look at all the nice things there, Target. and just be happy. Just love the one you're with, Haley. Just love the one you're with, and go yeah. to Target because it's great. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea why that so, makes me so think of Target. Happy, you're happy. Do I get this right? Your happy place is with an IC at Target. It's <laughs> so basic. Oh the no! The super Target. Which, which Target? Oh, no. Is there one? That Just the one out on Lake Milwaukee okay, and the, the Marsha Sharp. Okay. I don't know. That's not my happy place, but it makes me but quite sure happy to like do that. One of a happy I mean, place. it's a peaceful place. I don't know if anyone can relate to that. If you're listening on Facebook and you can <laughs> relate, please let me know so I don't feel so basic and alone. My mom does that. <laughs> it's nice. It's calm. Um, it's peaceful. You walk into Target <laughs> and you need like hangers and you walk out with new lamp shades. I don't know. Yep. Did you at least get the hangers? No. <laughs> Nine times out of ten, you, do you don't ever check do out that. their dollar bins. Yes, of Those course I do. Time. It's so bad. That's right. The first thing you see when you walk in mm-hmm. and you're like, oh, free almost. That's great. This is a dollar. This is a dollar. This. I got you a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> almost. Got you, a dollar. You almost got it. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, now we need to go to Target after this. <laughs> you should go to Target. You should definitely get a white icy. Those things are good. Ooh, white cherry. White cherry. Yes. I like to if mix you mix them. in a little bit of Coke with the white oh, cherry. Oh, bless. Yep. It's like heaven is raining down on you when you are happy. (laughs) Ah, man. Well, thank you so much for tuning in to us here on Good Morning Texas Tech Women Crush Wednesday edition. Let's do a quick roll call. I'm Haley. I'm Amy. I'm Elena. DG. And... Savannah. Thanks, Savannah. Thanks, Josh. (laughs) So glad y'all were here with us. Yeah, Um, thanks, guys. Yeah, thank y'all, Facebook, for tuning in and listening and commenting. Um, We have another, um, not Women Crush Wednesday, we have GMTT on Friday with the boys of TK. KXT, KTXT, and I'll be there too doing news. So y'all keep it locked to the left for the rest of the day. We've got some great music, great shows. Y'all have a wonderful, fantastic Wednesday. All right, it's Undercurrents. I'm Greg McVicker. Welcome. Glad you're here. We've got some Todd Snyder coming your way. Chris White, car seat headrest. And this from Ozo Motley. Okay.